scores around the grounds. Thanks to Rug Rates Rugby, our other sponsors, MacArthur Insulation, John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers, Level 1, 110, Queen Street, Campbelltown. And there's the whistle in the background to get us underway. Sunday football is go on MSR. And it's the Tigers running left to right in the opening 40 minutes. There's Hamish Oxley bringing it off his own line. He'll start about 12, 14 metres out from his own line. A very dry, dusty Victoria Park for Sunday football. A fine afternoon, but very dry conditions here in the Wallandilly. The drought certainly taking its effect. As we see Christian Nalas up over the 30. He's about 32, 33 metres out from the line. Just to the left of centre field. Russell kicks out of dummy half early. Let, lets it bounce. Has a couple, sits up for him on his own 10 at the southern end. They're running right to left as we look at it in the first 40 minutes. Now the Magpies, about 27 metres out from their own line. Provost goes to his left-hand side. Finds a runner there. That might be uh, Henry, in fact, that's uh, Pat Balea. Looks like they've had a jersey swap. As we, you can hear the breeze picking up in our microphones this afternoon. Just a slight breeze here at Victoria Park. Fine afternoon for Rugby League. Matt White, eight short of halfway. Dengate to the left-hand side of the Tigers' defence finds Blake Ritchie, who's three metres short of halfway. Back to the right-hand side, Dengate. Punching kick downfield. Sits up four. Hamish Oxley, who charges to his right into the line. Alex Peters down low, wraps him up. Over the top was a, a good effort there from... Uh, from Kenny Ahavella, who is starting so I to on the bench this afternoon. As we see the Tigers now, a couple of minutes gone on the Bingo Bins clock. No score on the board for MacArthur Insulation. Picked in the Oaks, Sunday footy round 17 from Victoria Park on MSR, MacArthurSportsRadio.com. We are the MacArthur Sports leader, James Kovacs, over the halfway line for the first time this afternoon. He'll play at three inside Picton Territory. First penalty of the afternoon goes the way of the Magpies. Goes against the home side for not playing the ball square by uh, all accounts. Referee Sheldrick not happy with the, uh, the positioning of Kovacs as he got up to play that ball. And so the penalty goes to the Magpies. And they're just inside Picton's attacking half. Alex Peters puts his body on the line. Can he get it out the back? He can, but there's a knock on there. There's a knock on. He tried to force the ball out the back. And a slight knock on there. I think Anthony Provis tried to take it, but wasn't able to do so. As we see the first scrum of the afternoon for the Tigers. It'll be about five metres short of halfway, 20 in from touch on the western side of Victoria Park. Fine sunny afternoon, a little on the cool side as we see the, the Tigers working up towards halfway from the scrum win. They go to the right-hand side now of the Picton defence. There's Christian Nalas taking it forward for seven or eight metres. That's how far into Inu picked in territory they are. Mitchell Basington goes to the left-hand side. Finds a runner on his outside, about 35 metres out from the line. Kovacs, easy to spot with the head taped. Inside the 30 now, 28 metres out from the line. They go to the left-hand side once again. Little double do, won't get through the line. Will it be fallen on by the Tigers? No. Picton come away with it. 22 out from their own line. So we've had nearly four minutes on the bingo bins clock. No scores yet in this vital round 17 fixture in Group 6 Rugby League. We'll keep you across the NRL and the local scores during the afternoon here on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. Hope you're enjoying it. Of course, you can fire in a comment if you want to join us on social media, Group 6 League Live or MacArthur Sports Radio. Find that on Facebook and you'll reach us here at Picton this afternoon. As we walk towards halfway, the Magpies in possession. Alex Peters plays it now to the right-hand side. Dengate gets the kick away under pressure from Scambury. Kick downfield taken by Hamish Oxley trying to get to the outside. Can he find a way through? No, he can't. Stays in the field of play by a metre or two, 30 metres out. Western side of the field. Good run infield, a very dry, dusty afternoon. 
very hard and fast surface underfoot for both these sides. It is Rory Vale, former Magpie, now Tiger, wins the penalty this time. Wins the penalty inside the 10, the ruling from referee Sheldrick. So the first penalty for the home side on the bingo bins stats sheet goes to the home side. It's one apiece actually as we see Nalas taking it forward for the Tigers on the Whirling Dervish to know we're in particular a heavy tackle and we've got a second penalty in quick succession as we hear a few of the uh, spectators up here at Victoria Park voicing their displeasure at the ruling from referee Sheldrick but it did appear to be a, a dangerous tackle certainly not uh, dangerous but above the horizontal as we get back underway now the Tigers for the next set of six 25 meters out Mitchell Brassington turns it back on the inside finds a runner there inside the quarter now Tigers looking to mount the opening points of the afternoon to the left hand side Mitchell Brassington for Kovacs Kovacs can't get through the line, pulled down 8 metres out, 10 to the left of the uprights. They go back to that short side, Mitchell Brasington shows it, shows it, shows it, shows it a clean pair of heels, that's what they see. Brasington's in for the opening try of the afternoon. They lead 4 points to nil on the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard. 6 minutes gone here at Victoria Park. And on the... John Stoneman Co. Lawyers replay level 1, 110 Queen Street, Campbelltown. He showed it to the left, he showed it a couple of times. Baby Code would have been proud of the amount of dummies he sold, but he went straight through the line and sliced through to score an easy try. Mid-range on the left, actually a little wider than mid-range on the left-hand side of the field. Now he'll be lining up the conversion attempt. Probably about 10 metres in from touch. Well, maybe a little bit less, about seven or eight metres in from touch. And he'd be about 22, 23 metres out from the line. To make it a 6-0 start for the Tigers. What can they produce here this afternoon? Kick is on its way from Mitchell Brasington. Flag stay down. Conversion unsuccessful. So it remains 4-0 in favour of the Tigers. On the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard. Seven and a quarter minutes gone. On the Bingo Bins clock in the first half from Victoria Park. Uh, don't have any scores from around the grounds just yet. But we can tell you in the NRL, nine minutes to half time. West's Tigers 16 leading Canberra 4 down in the national capital this afternoon. That's thanks to Rugrats Rugby. Here it's, it's picked and trailing four points to nil on the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard. As we see the next passage of play get underway, Matthew Brasington hands it off. That looks like uh, Lapini Payer taking it forward. He'll play it about 15 metres out from his own line. There's Christian Nalas up over the quarter. Ball comes out. Referee says illegally. A third penalty in succession for the Tigers. That one for a strip. And the kick will find the line on the eastern side of the field. About seven metres short of halfway. As they take the tap now, that looks like Oxley taking it forward. The Tigers in their away white strip today. The white with the gold V and the black trim. Mag picked it in their traditional black and white. A slight variation on the old black with the white V. They've got uh, some horizontal bars, but that's the strip they've been wearing all season. Russell goes to the left-hand side for Payer. Now Kovacs out the back. Good ball there. Took it well. About 25 metres from the line. Russell out of dummy half. Tried to catch the markers. Napping Billy R Carroll was one of them. He didn't fall asleep, though. He made the tackle 18 metres out. Matthew Brasington for Mitchell. Mitchell, Mitchell, can he get through the other side? No, he almost broke the line. Seven metres out on the last arm up from Sheldrick to the left-hand side. Mitchell keeps it alive. There's uh, Vandermeer and Josh. Keeps it alive for the corner. Can they score on that left-hand side? No, they're going to be driven back. So it'll be a turnover on the last for the 
Magpies. Only a metre or two out from the line in that southeastern corner. As they come off their own line now, Picton having to work hard here. Nearly 10 minutes gone in the first half on the bingo bins clock. And they trail 4 nil the home side this afternoon. Certainly be uh, playing with one eye looking to the major semi-final in three weeks' time. Will it be the Tigers they meet? Will it be the Rams? Will it be the Roosters? Will it be the Lions? Could well even be the Jets. Nobody knows. We'll find out in the coming weeks. And you'll hear it all on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. As we bring you all the action heading to grand final day. Campbelltown Stadium, September 16. Kick-off at 3pm in the big one. For 2018, somebody will claim the Norman L Day Cup. Who will it be? We don't know as yet who will be there. As we see the Magpies looking to find their way back into this game this afternoon. The Magpies now having to defend once again. About five metres inside their own half. Good defence there from Picton. Referee says an error there. Knock on from the Tigers. That's what they want to see here, the home fans. Old boys day. A big day here at Victoria Park. A good crowd in attendance. Cars right around the ground here at Victoria Park. A fine sunny afternoon. A little on the cool side temperature in the mid-teens, but a perfect day for rugby league ground. As I said, a very hard, fast and dry track. A lot of dirt coming up for dry conditions throughout New South Wales. There's Pat Belia from the scrum win. In fact, that's uh, Kenny Ahavello playing one off the ruck. And they will work from inside Tigers territory. Good run up field there over the 40 metre line by about six or seven metres. And a penalty goes to the Magpies as well for not releasing in the tackle. So... Bingo Bins stats sheet 3 2 in favour of the, the Tigers. The penalty count Ahavello over the 30 towards the quarter. He'll play it now about 23 metres out from the line. Just to the right of centre field. They go that way once again. Turn back on the inside. That looks like Alex Peters trying to take on the line. In fact, that might have been Blake Ritchie doing so. 17 from the line. They go to the right hand side. Dengate. Dengate to the right hand side. This time he finds a runner on the outside. Can't find a way through though. They'll play it only six metres from the line. To the left hand side for Ahavello. Second run in the set. He'll play it now. Two metres out. One metre out. He's very close. Five to the right of the uprights. On the northern end of the field. Provost dummy half. Comes back. Dengate through the hands. Daniel Payne, the youngster. Where's he going to go? He tries to step his way through the line. Gets dragged and flung to ground. 18 metres out, so they lose ground on the last. Let out of dummy half. Little grubber and chase. Can he get the bounce? No, he can't. His opposite does well to stop him there. Hamish Oxley only a metre or two out from the Tigers line as they work to the left-hand side. That's Mitchell Richards, I think, going for a run. Now the Tigers working out of their own end over the quarter. Been a good start to the set for them. Up over the quarter very quickly. They're up 4-0 on the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard. 13-10 gone in the first half. Here's a chance for them down the right-hand side. Rory Vale to within nine metres of halfway. Plays it. Here's Biles firing it off through the hands. Matthew for Mitchell Brasington. Bit of a decoy run there. Referee says it was all right. Kovacs waited for the ball but didn't get it from Mitchell Brasington. Russell out of dummy half on the last. Not a bad kick downfield. Finds open space and finds it about seven, eight metres from the line. And gives it off to his uh, winger on the outside in Eric Everett. He can't get through the line. He'll play it 13 out from the Picton line as they go to the right hand side. Matt Dengate going for a good run there over the quarter. About 26, 27 metres out from his own line now on the right hand side of the field as they work back to the open side left Belia out of dummy half takes on the line the big rangy islander is about three or four meters short of halfway maybe a little less just to the right of center field dengate to the right 
In fact, puts it through the hands to the left. Alex Peters out wide, playing as a centre. Seven metres inside. Tigers territory on the last. Kick comes from Daniel Payne under pressure. High midfield bomb. Hamish Oxley takes it on his own trail line. Wheels around to his right. Sees a wall of black and white in front of him but makes 20 metres plus a couple as he works it out of his own end. Now Biles. Zach Biles, one of the young guns for the Tigers, plays it on the 30. They go out of dummy half again with Oxley. The back's certainly prepared to put their hand up and do some extra work. 12 short of halfway. Russell, long ball to the left for Kovacs. Can he break the line? No, not this time. Four short of halfway. Been a real up tempo start to this game this afternoon. Mitchell Brasington for Nalis. Nalis pulled down seven inside. Picked in territory on the last. Mitchell Brasington, a little punching kick over the top. Will it stay in the field of play? No. Uh, out on the full, so it'll be a turnover on the last. About 18 metres short of halfway. Ten in from touch on the eastern side. Sean Finity about to come on in Jersey 14 for the Tigers. As Picton plays it 38 metres out from their own line to the right of centre field. Here's Belia once again taking on the line. In fact, that's, uh, and that's big Kenny Ahavello. Now Matt White does well. Makes a good 10, 12, 15 metres. He's 41 metres from the line when he plays it now. Looks like Big Kenny's having a spell with uh, the 22 going on in Rossi Brown. He'll play it now. Uh, that'll be Blake Ritchie, 30 metres out. Dengate finds Lett, trying to step off the right foot, find his way through the line, nearly came out the other side, popped it back on the inside. Can have a man down behind the line on the 30. We'll keep an eye on that. Provost to dummy half to the right-hand side. He's let with a little dab kick through the line. Hamish Oxley watches that one run safely over the dead ball line back to the 20 for a seven tackle set. So midway through the first half, 23 and 20 remaining in the first half. It's the Oaks four leading Picton Mill around the grounds in the NRL. There's uh, a minute 15 to go until half time at Canberra Stadium, it's still West's Tigers 20, Canberra 10 in the NRL. And uh, no scores through from uh, Group 6 matches this afternoon. If we do get any, we'll certainly send them through to you during the afternoon here on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. Group 6 League Live out of Victoria Park this afternoon. As we see a slight stoppage here. One of the Picton players... Receiving a little bit of treatment in the line. And it might be Blake Ritchie getting the attention there. I think he's right to resume his position in the line. As we get back underway, 22 and a half minutes remaining first half. Tigers lead 4-0. Round 17 match of the day here on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. James Kovacs. Runs into a wall of black and white, including his former teammate, Rossi Brown. 32 metres out in centre field. Russell to the right-hand side for Scambry. Scambry won't get through the line this time. He'll play it 11 metres short of halfway. Make that 10. He'll play it on the 40-metre line. Paint up quickly out of the defensive line as they go to the left-hand side for Michael Bullock. Up the middle. The veteran now plays at five short of halfway. Mitchell Brasington sends it aerial. Michael Lett does well to take it on his own 20. Tries to break the line. Matthew Brasington over the top with Bullock and one other. He's 11 metres short of halfway when he's tackled. To the left-hand side come the Tigers. Opponents in Picton once again. And there's Matt Dengate going for a run. Provost for... Looks like Big Rossi Brown for a run. Can he pop it out the back? He can, but it's been lost forward by the Tigers. In fact, by Picton. Lost forward by Picton, so it'll be a Tigers scrum feed. It'll be a Tigers scrum feed about seven metres short of halfway. So the Tigers might have got a little break there. I thought he passed it back and it 
rolled forward after that, but the referee ruling in favour of the black and golds, even though they're in predominantly white today. Finity to Oxley from the scrum win. Gets carried back, chair lifted back four or five metres. He'll play at 12 short of halfway eventually. Very slow play the ball there. Finity into dummy half. Narlis to the left-hand side. About three metres short of halfway. Comes back to the right-hand side. There's Michael Bullock taking it forward. The replacement loses it in the tackle row. So maybe a little bit of poetic justice there for the Tigers. As they concede possession. They picked him with the scrum feed. Well, pack the scrum. About five short of halfway. Comes through the hands now. No way through the defensive line for Picton this time. That was uh, Mark Pudney going for a run. Now Alex Peters takes on three of them, including Narlis and Matt Brasington down low. Doesn't go through the other side this time. Brown ball distributor, flat ball to the right-hand side. Found a runner though, 38 metres from the line. So they work it back to the open side right. And there's Rossi Brown taking it forward. Now they'll play it and look for their options. Anthony Provost going for a scoot. Can he find a way through? Not this time. He's 18 metres out from the line. Led into dummy half. Little punching kick from Timmy Dengate. Being put down by the Tigers. Picked and have it. Is that six more tackles? I think it should be. Yes, it is. There's the signal tap now. And we've got a penalty to Picton for, for, I think it's for a strip. And the Bingo Bins stats sheet that levels it up at three all the penalty count. And they're going to kick for line, are they? Or are they going to take the... They're going to take the tap. Rossi Brown off the back fence. Charges to within five metres of the line. Plays it now. Provost to the left-hand side. Dengate finds a runner in Richie, the youngster. And we'll be heading to Dubbo for the Indigenous knockout this year on the October long weekend. Plays it seven metres out. There's uh, Carroll out the back, sloppy ball from him. Finds Michael Lett on the second bounce. Lett finds a little bit of space. Can he come through the other side? He almost reached out and scored. Only a metre out, a metre to the right of the uprights at the northern end. Comes back now. Dengate, Payne. Payne tries to take on the line. Comes back to his right-hand side. Still has the ball, fires it to the right. Finds a runner there in Pudney. Pudney coming back to the open side. Now switches again, Dengate steps off the right, that was a mistake, ran into Christian Narlis who did enough to stop him. Two more over the top, make the tackle, 15 metres out centre field at the northern end. Let goes to the right hand side, dances forward, can't beat the line. Pulled down 8 metres out from the line. Good run there from the veteran number one, a scoot out of dummy half, have they got there? Referee says no, short turnover. Last tackle turnover. And he's called time off with 17 and 20 remaining in the first half. It's still 4 0. Picton trails the Oaks. And I think we're going to have a caution here for descent from one of the Picton players. So we don't have the referee's audio, so we can't tell you what. Uh, oh, it looks like it'll be a penalty to the Tigers after all of that. Or is it? No, it'll be a turnover on the last. So it'll be a turnover on the last as we get back underway. Inside the last 17 minutes of the first half, only the one try scored by Mitchell Brasington on six minutes. A slicing solo run through the Picton defence, caught them napping. They trail by that 4-0 scoreline. Big Henry Aouda about to come on in Jersey 10 for the Magpies. As we see the Tigers now, 25 out from their own line. To the right-hand side they come, the open side right over the 30. Good run there. And gets the penalty as well. That was uh, Hamish Oxley getting the penalty there. I thought it was one of the back rowers, but it was Oxley 
doing well. Rossi Brown having a chat to referee Sheldrick. He's going to lose that one every day of the week. Mitchell Brasington drives it into touch. Finds the line 40 metres out from the Picton line. Affinity for Kovac. Straight up the middle says, get out of the way, I'm coming through. Within 28 metres of the line. Now to the right-hand side. Mitchell Brasington inside for Bullock. Bullock pops it out the back. Referee says, knock on no. So Picton forced the error on the former Magpies captain coach. And they come up with the error 22 metres out from the Picton line just to the right of centre field. So it remains 4-0 here in this match. The Tigers can secure second position with a win and results this afternoon. A loss puts them right into that that battle for third position and even second second position will not be guaranteed if they go down this afternoon so they need to get the points here the tigers to secure their spot and hopefully a top two finish giving them the second bite of the cherry in that elimination final or that qualifying final in a couple of weeks they don't want to be in that situation they want to be in the uh, qualifying semi giving them the week off of a second chance picked in now on the attack five meters inside tigers territory they go come to the right hand side but they've turned it over just as i give them the wrap starting to build first error from picton michael bullock having a dirty afternoon with his hands but thankfully this time it didn't affect his team or cost them anything as we wait for the scrum to pack. Be about six metres inside. Picton's attacking half, just short of halfway. Picton finally getting the numbers to the scrum. Mitchell Brasington feeds it and wins it. Goes to the right-hand side, finds Michael Brasington out in the centres. Plays it a couple short of halfway. Nalis up the middle. Good run from the lock forward. He's had time down in the Illawarra back at the Tigers. I've seen the Nalis name at the Tigers for a number of years. Finity to Kovac. Kovacs can't get through the line. Driven back the big man 42, 43 metres out from the line. Referee, I think, indicating a lost ball. The touch judge indicating loss ball referee not going with the ruling there. Ball out the back to Oxley now. Mitchell Brasington. Michael kicks in field. Matthew chasing through. Will it sit up for them? No, it'll go dead. Back to the 20. Back to the 20 for a seven tackle set. So the Tigers throwing plenty at the Magpies, but the Magpies able to hold on for now. The Tigers lead at four points to nil. 13 minutes remaining first half here at Victoria Park. See if we can get some scores out of Thilmy this afternoon from the, from the Roosters and Norellan match. A big game there for the Jets. They need to get the win to keep their finals hopes alive. A loss will end their season. They will play Mittagon on Saturday night regardless. But they'll be hoping to get a win this afternoon to make that game a, a virtual quarter-final. The winner going through to the, the semi-finals in a fortnight's time, the loser heading home. Mittagong having the bye this afternoon. So they'll be hoping that... Uh, that uh, Thilmy can get the job done at home and they can produce the goods to end Norellan's season but the Jets will have something to say about that as we see is it going to be a try now it's a knock on a knock on from Picton here so it'll be a turnover on the last so it remains 4-0 11.45 to half time 
here at Victoria Park this afternoon. Mike Sheen with you on the countersportsradio.com and a penalty to the Tigers. We've got time off once again. 11 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Penalty count for Bingo Bins 5 3 in favour of the Tigers. Referee Sheldrick calling out Michael Lett and Mitchell Brasington, the two captains. Both sides getting a little frustrated with the amount of whistle being blown this afternoon and a general caution being given to the two captains. They need to improve their effort as we see the kick for line from the Tigers. Find the mark about 35 metres out from the Picton line, from the Tigers line rather. As they go across field here, the Tigers only making four or five metres on that first run. It was uh, the 11 in Josh Van Emulen. Now Michael Bullock takes it forward. He'll play it five short of halfway, looking for a quick play of the ball. This time he gets it. Finity out of dummy half goes himself a stumbling run for seven or eight metres. He's only a few, maybe five metres inside. Picton Territory, now Matthew for Mitchell Brasington. The brothers combining. And he'll play at 15 inside. Picton Territory, 20 in from touch, eastern side. Matthew finds out wide. That looks like Michael going for a run. And he'll play at 32 metres out. I'll come back to the right-hand side now. Mitchell, the director, puts it high into the air on the last tackle. Down it comes, Michael Lett didn't know much about that, but he did enough to hold on to it 10 metres out from the line. This has been a real battle this afternoon being between two competition heavyweights. The Magpies, I wonder if they're playing at complete potential today with the realisation they've got two weeks off after this afternoon and the minor premiership is sewn up. They play it now, 25 out. He's, uh, looks like Rossi Brown to the 30. Gets it out the back for Alex Peters. Play on the call. Peters puts the ears back, turns back the hands of time to halfway. Good run there from the second rower. Now out of dummy half, Anthony Provost takes on the line. Makes another 15. They're that far into Tigers territory. Good run from the experienced players there. Now Payne, the young gun, gets the kick away under pressure again. High kick. Hamish Oxley does well to take it. But we've got a penalty to the Tigers for that hit on pain. So the Bingo Bins stats sheet 4-5. A penalty count. The, the Oaks lead that one 5-4. So they'll have the penalty about 22 metres out. They'll take the tap and put it under the right chicken wing and head for the line. Only about 12 or 13 metres out when they play it now on the first. Provost to the right hand side for Dengate. Dengate a short ball there for Blake Ritchie. Can he reach the line? No. Three Tigers there to stop him. A metre out. He'll play it. Provost gets the ball away under pressure. Referee says six more tackles. Six more to the, the Magpies. Inside the Tigers 10. Comes back to the right hand side of the Tigers defence. Alex Peters for the line to within a metre or two. He can't get over though. He'll play it under the uprights at the northern end. Provost gets a high ball for Dengate. Now Ayuda for the line. He's got three and four and five there. He's still spinning and trying to find a way to the line. He's only a metre or two out when he's stopped. 15 in from touch, western side. Provost fires it out for Payne. Payne, little punching kick. Can he get the bounce himself? No, I think he dropped it. Referee says yes. He, he's, in fact, he got there. He got there. I didn't think he did to the naked eye, but Aaron Sheldrick in a better position, and he ruled that Daniel Payne has forced it down. Eight minutes remaining, first half on the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard. It's the fall between the Tigers and the Magpies on the replay for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers, level 1, 110 Queen Street, Campbelltown. He did it all himself. The two number sixes have done it. First it was Brasington at the southern end for the Tigers early on. Now it was Daniel Payne put the little grubbing kick through on the last. Managed to get the bounce to sit up for him and just force it in the in goal ahead of the diving Tigers defenders. And if we got time off again, I think we might. Another caution being given here by 
referee Aaron Sheldrick as both captains break from this little meeting to line up this conversion attempt now Anthony Provost normally very reliable has a very good goal kicking percentage to his name certainly in the 60s you'd want him on your side more weeks than not as we see the Tigers in their huddle behind the dead ball line what would Mitchell Brasington been saying to them now the bingo bins clock on our one shows 6.35 remaining for the score Provost to add the extras and give the, the Magpies a two point lead which he does that was an easy one for Anthony Provost he's one from one this afternoon and that's the difference so far on the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard it's Picton leading six points to four here at Victoria Park this afternoon and a couple of interchanges for Bingo Bins as well looks like Sinopati Soli are coming on for the Tigers as we see a high shallow restart for the way of the Tigers and then we've got knock-ons galore I think it, he's going to say the first one from the the Oaks so it'll be a Picton scrum feed is it no it's a Tigers scrum feed okay so it's a Tigers scrum feed out of all of that 32 meters out and I think they've just if they sorted it out, I thought he signalled a Tigers scrum feed, but maybe it's going to Picton. It is. It goes to the Magpies. I don't know if they dodged one there or not. Pat Balea has it. Eight short of halfway. The Magpies in front by two. There's a good run upfield. And they get the ball away on the inside. They can. Balea backing up nicely inside the 40. Two and three there to stop him. That original run came from Aida. He's at First receiver on the right, they go left side, Alex Peters. Crunched in a good tackle by his opposite, Ben Scambry. Scambry stops him 35 metres from the line. Dengate running to the line, that's Tim. Michael Lett trying to step off the right, can't get through the line. Had a Vandermeule in there in the form of Josh to stop him along with Michael Bullock. Provost out of dummy half. Gets the ball away to the right-hand side. In fact, that was uh, Timmy Dengate in at dummy half. Doing the honours there. Now it's Provost for Payne. Little grubber kick through on the last. Cleaned up there by the Tigers. Only a few metres out from their own line. Down by two. Approaching the half-time break here at Victoria Park. As we see the Tigers trying to come out of their own end. Now trying to find a way over the quarter. Good run here from the Tigers. Still short of the quarter. That's Solia playing it. There's a good run. I think that's Lapini Paya back on the field for Bingo Bins. It is as he plays it now to the left-hand side. They go out wide. Ball around the corner was a nice one. They've got numbers on that outside. But Mitchell Richards puts it down and goes over the touchline, thankfully, for the Tigers. And Picton will have the scrum feed 29 metres out from the Tigers' line. They lead the scrums for Bingo Bins 6-3. It'll be... Penalty count is 5-4 for all your commercial, residential and industrial waste removal needs. See the team at Bingo Bins proudly sponsoring the Magpies in 2018. Their match day sponsor as well. We thank them for their support of the Tiger, uh, the Magpies and Group 6 Rugby League. Pat Balea tries to take on the line. Can't get through. 25 from the line. Michael led into dummy half. He's dangerous in broken field play. But they don't fall for it this time. 22 metres out at the northern end. The Bingo Bins clock shows three minutes remaining first half. Dengate of the Tim Variety finds a runner on the outside. That looks like Aida for the line. He's within more, within more than a few Iodas. He's about nine metres short when he plays it in front of the posts at the northern end. To the right-hand side. Timmy Dengate, a short ball there. A crash ball for the line. Are they over? Referee's going to say no. He's going to stop the clock. What's he ruled here? Has he ruled anything? I don't think he has. 2.33 on our clock for Bingo Bins. And okay. Try to, 
So Ben Smith has got over in the 11. I think I've been calling him Blake Richie. So Ben Smith in the 11. Apologies there. As we see the tiger, the, the Magpies score a second try. make it a 10 points to 4 lead in favour of the home side here at Victoria Park this afternoon the uh, conversion attempt to come from Anthony Provost Conversion attempt to make it a 12-4 scoreline. Now the conversion attempt from Provost as one from one this afternoon, about 15 metres out. Probably 22 in from touch on the eastern side. Inside the final couple of minutes of the first half. Conversion attempt to make it a eight point game. Kick is on its way and successful. Provis two from two. So as you heard in the background there, it's 12 points to four on the MacArthur insulation scoreboard in favor of the Picton Magpies over the Oaks Tigers. As we see the last passage of the first half get underway. There's a good run there from Michael Lett. Takes a shallowish restart almost to the 30 on the first tackle. So we're down inside 60 seconds to go on the Bingo Bins clock in the first half. The Magpies out by eight. It's been a real arm wrestle. This one almost a finals type match here at Victoria Park. Getting a taste for finals football. This is what we've got coming then. This is going to be a good finals series in 2018. Back to the right-hand side, Provis for Dengate. That was a flat ball. In fact, no, that was a forward ball. That's very marginal from here. But the referee he said it was forward. So it'll be a scrum feed to the Tigers. We've only got a matter of seconds remaining in the first half. Time off. I've got 18 seconds on my clock. The official clock, I'll just have a... Look over the shoulder there, 116 remaining, so still a minute and change remaining in the first half as we get underway for the final couple of minutes of the first half. And a very slow play, the ball, Rory Vale eventually gets to his feet. And the next run, the Tigers driven back in good defence as we into the final 60 seconds of the first half. Mitchell Brasington trying to step his way through the line, nearly coming out the other side, 38 metres out from the line. I'll come back to the left-hand side now. Matthew Brasington puts a little grubber kick through, taken by Picton's Eric Everett. As he looks to find his way through, gets a ball away. Pat Belia out wide on the left-hand side. Is he dispossessed? No. He holds onto it 30 metres out. There's only seconds remaining in the first half. Picton looked like it was a highish tackle there. Referee said it was OK. So they come back to the open side. Left-hand side over halfway. Siren due to sound any second now. A flat ball across field. Only five or six metres inside Tigers territory. There's the siren in the background for half-time. Little chip and chase over the top on the last tackle. Cleaned up by Hamish Oxley and he'll be content to just wheel to the right-hand side, head towards the touchline, take the tackle and see us head to half-time with Picton leading the Oaks 12 points to four at the break. In his first grade round 17 encounter here on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. Stay with us. We'll be back in a moment with the half-time wrap for Kip McGrath and Allen. This is Group 6 League Live only on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. We'll be back with more in a couple of minutes, so stay with us here on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. We'll be back shortly to bring you the best of the on-field. 